Hello, my name is Stuart. I'm the curator of the Cromwell Museum in Huntingdon. Uh, Happy New Year to all of our subscribers and to people who just found us today. Um, rather unusual times at the moment, obviously, as we're in uh, the third lockdown here in England at the moment. So I'm just in the Cromwell Museum doing some condition checks today and thought that um, I'd show you one of our prized objects in the museum's collections, which is uh, this very unusual item over my shoulder here, which is Oliver Cromwell's hat or at least it's reputed to be anyway. It's a remarkable survival. It's a large wool felt hat, uh, certainly it's 17th century in terms of its original provenance. Um, it's reputed to be Cromwell's hat. We always say reputed to be when we have objects like this, because unless you can find a direct proof, for instance, original evidence that says that this particular item belonged to someone, there's always an element of doubt to it. How do we know that it is Cromwell's hat, or at least might likely to be? Um, well, it's been passed down through the Cromwell family over the last 370 years or so. Cromwell's youngest son, Henry, uh, had uh, descendants who basically are the main line of the family that we have contact with today and have lent many of the treasures that are in the museum's collections that we have on display. Um, in the early 19th century, uh, Henry's sort of last Cromwell descendant married a Reverend Bush. So today the, uh, the family are called the Bush family and they have very kindly loaned these items to the museum for the last 50 years or so. Now because of course these items have been in the same family's possession for many years, it gives us a good idea perhaps that these items really did belong to Cromwell. Family tradition has it that this hat belonged to him and indeed this is the hat that he wore when he dismissed Parliament in April 1653. Uh, when he marched into the House of Commons and dismissed the Rump Parliament at that stage, beginning the process which led to him becoming Lord Protector. Now what I'm going to do in a moment is actually remove this hat from the case. It's quite unusual that we take it out. We do every now and again for condition checks and so on. But you'll be able to see inside the hat for a change um, and uh, kind of give you a bit of a rare view of what this amazing object, a very rare survival, looks like. I'm very gently supporting this hat, going to remove it from the case uh, so that you can see this remarkable object here. Um, it's got a little bit of damage as you can see that's uh, taken place over the years where unfortunately the moths have got at it. Um, it's uh, a remarkable, as I say, survival being wool felt. The fact that it survived at all 370 years is uh, extremely unusual. Um, it would originally have been black, it's obviously faded with some sort of uh, over time. Um, you can see the size of it. It's around about sort of 65, 70 centimetres in diameter. And uh, the size of the hat is, is arguably a status symbol. Um, it's a way of showing off to people. Fabric is expensive in the 17th century. Everything is handmade. Everything is hand stitched, hand woven, hand dyed. And as a result of which, the more fabric you have in garments, the higher status you are. It's basically the equivalent to wearing designer clothing today. So um, there's a bit of a fashion statement going off with this, not least the fact also that black is quite an expensive colour in terms of a dye. Um, and uh, rather than the image we have of Puritans all wearing black in the 17th century, actually it's an expensive dye colour. So uh, there's basically a bit of a status symbol going on with this particular item. Well, I gently turn it over and you can see inside the hat here, um, you can see the, um, the leather reinforcing that's been done at some point in the past. This is a kind of form of conservation treatment that's taken place. Um, but just gives you a view inside the hat here. And um, this amazing item, which is a remarkable survival. So, so very gently going to put it back onto its breast here. Turn it around so that it's not... Now, whether or not, as I say, it really is Oliver Cromwell's hat, we'll probably never know. But it's got a good provenance to it, and it's remarkable to think that this might have been certainly a, a 17th century hat. Um, the fact that, as I say, it survived the last 370 years or so is quite remarkable in its own right. So it's a lovely item to be able to have, and we're very proud to have it in our collections. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that interesting. Um, you'll find more about many of the items in the museum's collections on our website. Uh, details and the contact card at the end of this video. Um, please do remember to like and to subscribe to our videos. We'll be doing more of these over the coming weeks, obviously during the lockdown period to keep you informed and entertained. 
Uh, do remember also to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, our social media presence. Uh, you can also donate to the museum should you choose to do so as well, because we're also a registered charity. Otherwise, please stay safe, please stay well in these very strange times, and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.